Welcome to Touch Technology Review today, a quick discussion about the Rode Wireless Go microphone. This is an ultra compact microphone that is really portable and convenient and easy to use and sounds great. Now I've got it sitting on top of the hot shoe of my Canon EOS R. It's situated about one and a half meters away and I'm recording directly into the built-in microphone of the Rode Wireless Go, which is fantastic. You can actually plug a lapel microphone into it as well. So if you've got a lapel microphone you love using and you want it to be a bit more discreet, you can pop this in your pocket and run the lapel mic up to your neck and do your recording as you normally do. Or if you're in a rush and you're wearing a jacket, you can easily hide it underneath the jacket and it can be your main microphone. So I think it's a great option for run and gunning, for interview situations. It's got a pretty good battery life. I've had it on for at least five or six hours of recording so far and it hasn't run out. I think you can get up to eight hours. It's been really reliable so far without picking up any interference. I've been using it at a standard range of about one and a half to three meters away in different rooms and different environments for the past week since I've had it and it's been performing really well. The great thing about it is the quality of the audio really does match just about any other solution that I have used in the past. So in the past I was using the Zoom H1 to record into and plugging it into the new EOS R. The preamps on that camera are really good so it just sounds clean and crisp straight out of the camera audio. I don't have to sync up audio files in post anymore. I'm using it as my main audio source on the Canon and I'm really pleased with it. Of course, you do have to apply some effects to it to get the most out of the sound. A little bit of EQ, a little bit of noise reduction if you like, but there's no line noise that you could really hear. You could even get away with just presenting the audio as is if you just boost the levels a little bit. But as I mentioned, just a few EQ effects on it and you'll get an amazing sound out of the wireless go. In terms of specs, you get both a transmitter and a receiver unit, which are both ultra compact weighing only 31 grams. Both are rechargeable via USB-C, charger cables and the 3.5 audio cable are included in the box at the time of purchase. As mentioned earlier, there is a built-in omnidirectional condenser microphone in the transmitter, which sounds great and also a 3.5 inch audio jack if you choose to connect an optional lapel microphone. The Wireless Go uses the 2.4 gigahertz digital wireless frequency with 128 bit encryption that will work in any Wi-Fi and Bluetooth environment despite the congestion and has a range of up to 70 meters line of sight. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.